Hey decorators, adding dye sublimation to your heat transfer business can be very profitable. I'm Kirk and this is AJ from Heat Transfer Warehouse. In this video, we're going to focus on non-apparel dye sublimation blanks. So we can show you how you can make huge profits using blanks. So stick around. Dye sublimation, if you're looking to get into it or you're already doing it, it's just a recap. The combination of colors that you get, over half a million different color combinations that can be used for great in photography or any digital art that you're creating in Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw, anything like that. Dye sublimation is considered one of the highest quality prints when it comes to digital printing in any other format. Uh, one cent per square inch when you look at your inks. Easy setup with any of the Sawgrass Virtuoso, either the SG400 or the SG800. Pretty much install, put in your inks, and you're ready to rock and roll. Sublimation is probably best known for decorating on non apparel items such as like, you got like photo panels, dog tags, keychains. I know we also have name tags, which AJ uses when he travels. You also got coasters, and there's probably over a thousand items or more you can get in just blank non apparel items. And so the key is with all this, you just can't go to any store, pick it up and buy it, is having that great polyester or polymer coating on these items. And so when you do get those, make sure you check to make sure that you have a good quality polymer or polyester coating. Like Unisum or Chromolux, obviously very high end, very well known in the industry, so you know you're gonna get a great product when you pick those up. Sublimation is also very popular on apparel and garments, like this shirt here. The higher the concentration of polyester, the brighter it will be. You can also do it on blends, but it also kind of give you a vintage look. So if you want to learn more, check out this video on how to print on blended garments. Now let's explore some of our dye sub blanks and how you can market those. This is just a small selection of what we offer on our website at heattransferwarehouse.com. Here's one of our ornaments. It's a double-sided ornament. Ornaments are great for uh, births, birthdays, different things like that, with photos, any of your own personal art. Here is one of our keychains. Keychains are great for like the college world with uh, sports teams, anything like that for dorm rooms, lockers, etc. Here is one of our pet tags, again, double-sided. The pet industry in the US in 2018 was over $75 billion, so it's a good market to get into as well. Here's my favorite, the bag tag. Here's a round bag tag, just with a standard number and a basketball. Here's more of the rectangle that you might be used to for any luggage. Uh, sports teams use a lot of these for just their bags when they take them up from under the bus, they know which one is theirs. Down here is the coaster, the famous coaster with the cork back. This one is just for the standard man cave, uh, cold beer here. Um, it can be used for just standard art, etc. Um, down here is one of our photo panels. This is a matte finish photo panel. Photo panels kind of have that value added when you can put a family reunion picture on there, um, a married couple, anything like that. It's a great way to kind of give that value of that personal touch to the, any dye sublimation blank. So just remember any of these blanks can be used for great souvenirs from family trips to vacations and also great in the corporate world for awards, recognition, anything like that. Just remember there's a perceived value to a lot of these different objects. If it's just standard graphic, maybe not so much there, but anything with the photo on it, just kind of adds that value and that personal touch that people are looking for and they're willing to pay a little bit more for as well. So how do we make money by selling blanks? So let's talk about that a little bit. As far as perceived value, let's just take a look at it. So you have this picture, it's obviously nice and custom, it's got a picture to it. That actually, the customer's gonna obviously will pay a little bit more for that because you have more customization to this. So if you look at this coaster, you think about it. Now right now that's just cold beer here. But now if all of a sudden I were to take now this picture off of this emblem and maybe put it on the coaster, now we have a better value because it's more personalized. It's tying back to maybe the family or somebody you know or a dog or something like that. So you can obviously increase the value and get more off of just one item by adding a little more customization to it. Even the bag tag, what happens if we put the athlete on there, the picture of them? That'd be pretty cool. And also would add more value because now it's not even just their number, it's their face, it's their end the uniform. So now again, example of perceived value increases with just a little bit of customization and tying it back more to that customer so they have something more to obviously appreciate or even want that. Same thing with the bag tag here. If we add a little more customization to it, maybe add their name, but also maybe add their favorite place or favorite dog while they're gone. So if they miss their dog, they can always look at their bag tag. They would probably pay more for that because it's customized. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at how do you make money with sublimation 
to make sure you add a little bit of customization into that to tailor back to that customer. And they will obviously pay a lot more for that. So let's talk about a brief example of how we can properly price out dye sublimation. So for this example, we're gonna use the eight by 10 photo panel. So if you buy them online, you're gonna buy a 10 pack. So price per unit is $6.80. So you got that in your costs. And then obviously you look at is what's my ink and paper costs. And that's gonna approximately run about a penny per square inch for the ink. And you add the paper in, you got about a dollar invested in this. Then you add your labor, which I always say can be around two to three dollars, but we'll just say two dollars for example. So now I have nine dollars and eighty cents into this panel, printed and pressed. So now, if you go online somewhere, AJ, where am I going to find this panel selling for that one of those online retailers? We've been seeing some of the high-end retailers making a print just like this, like you said, eight by ten, anywhere from twenty-five to thirty-five dollars. So isn't that amazing profit? And so if you think about that, if you bought a ten pack of these. Just look at that. You're making over $250 off of this as far as a sale there goes. So great profits, easy to do. Also the thing about it is if you're doing this smaller stuff, just remember quantity is key. You don't want to just do one key tag, because obviously, or dog tag, because you're gonna be wasting a lot of paper. So the thing is to try to accumulate a few more jobs to it so you can do maybe like 10, 20 at a time so they can maximize your efficiency with their ink and your paper. Now we want to talk to you about one last thing, about the heat press. Most of you probably already have a clamshell heat press similar to this one you see here. Clamshell heat presses are going to work just fine for some of your thinner dye sublimation blanks. Anything thicker, you're going to want to go towards the hover or a drawer or a swing away press. Those are going to give you the ability to do a little bit thicker dye sublimation blanks, especially the ones that are backed with wood. Um, but the dye sub blanks are going to work perfectly fine with any of your clamshell, especially the thin ones like your dog tags, your bag tags, things like that. Just remember, it really comes down to what you put on your dye sublimation blank that gives it its value. Simple things are easy, but the things that have the more personal touch are gonna to give you more of that perceived value to the customer. You're gonna make more of that direction. If you would like to learn more about application of dye sublimation, check out this video here. And if you wanna find out more about all the dye sublimation blanks that we offer, printers, inks, and paper, visit heattransferwarehouse.com. And if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. And we want to thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.